Hi guys, it's Haig here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly make sure your Windows drivers are updated, or any drivers that you have on your computer are updated. For an example, like your graphics card driver, your uh, wireless network driver, all kinds of drivers that are on your computer, you want to make sure they're all up to date. And uh, a lot of times, if you don't have the driver up to date, um, you can... Uh, or if you're even missing the driver, you can go to the manufacturer's website and get it. And uh, this video is going to go over the basics to show you first if your drivers need updating or if they don't need updating and how to go ahead and update the drivers. And also it's going to show you how to actually install drivers if you don't have them. So uh, let's get started. All right. So go in to your start menu. If you're running Windows uh, 8, you're going to have to search up uh, device manager. But uh go into a uh, computer right click where you see computer go down to manage when this computer management window pops up click device manager and in here it's going to show you all the drivers of your computer what you're looking for is you're looking for a driver that has one of these little yellow yellow triangular icons on it right here this internet controller driver you can see this little yellow triangular icon on it that is an out-of-date driver or a missing driver this means you need to get this one updated all right but before we update any of our drivers it's good to uh, go into where it says actions and click scan for hardware changes This is going to attempt to install any driver that is outdated on your computer. You get the little tooltip box down here. And it's attempting to uh, install the internet controller driver on my computer. However, Windows Update is not going to find it. And it's going to still say that this driver is uh, or something that failed to update. So just let it do that. And I'm going to show you what happens if this happens. So it says no driver found and it's marked with this hex. Well, in this case, we're going to have to go to our manufacturer's website. So uh, whether your uh, computer is a Dell computer, an Acer computer, whatever make your computer is, you want to go to their website. And I'm going to go to their website now, and I'm going to go and download my driver for, their, for, for uh, my particular computer. So to do that, I'm going to go over to the uh, Acer website by doing a Google search. Now, it depends what computer you have, so you're going to have to remember, you want to go to your manufacturer's website. Alright, so I'm at my Acer's website, and I'm under their drivers and manual section. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose my actual make and my model. Alright. And if you're on an Acer computer, you should have a sticker on your computer that tells you the exact number that you're needing to for your particular computer or your laptop because I'm doing this on my laptop so I'm just going to look for uh, 5733 Z because that's my particular uh, laptop There it is. So this is my laptop here. That I found. Let's let it load. Yeah, there's my laptop here. The Asper 5733Z. Alright. So I'm going to make sure that I'm running the right operating system. So what I want to do is minimize these windows temporarily. Go over to computer, right click, go to properties. And uh, you can see here that I'm running 64-bit operating system. That way, I'm gonna go back when I go back to the website. We'll be changing this to 64-bit Windows 7, 64-bit. Let this load our drivers up. There you go. The Atlanta driver is right here. This is the driver that's outdated, and I don't have the LAN driver. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
click download and this is going to download the land driver for me to save it to my desktop now of course I'm using a WinRAR uh, so I'm gonna so uh, but it's in dot zip so you should be able to open it up and uh, open up the driver just bring that out here it's a folder and uh, let me run the executable file setup.exe next accept the license agreement click next again click install and that's going to go ahead and it's going to install my wire my LANA driver my uh for me I'm just going to let this uh installation complete and when i do that that means the driver is now installed and updated All right, now that we have installed that, let's go back into Device Manager again. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, Actions, Scan for Hardware. Time we shouldn't see a little symbol. So now if I go over to where it is, my uh, network adapters, you can see here that now I have this installed. I open it up. You can see that I got this driver installed. There is no more triangular shapes on there. Um, I have all my drivers installed properly. You can tell because there's no little uh, yellow triangular over any of my drivers in here. That means that I've completely got them up to date. Now, if you want to make sure that you got them all up to date, you can also click up here. Actually, you can, you can right click on any of the drivers. And you can uh, go update driver software. This will search and go search automatically for updated driver software. This will use the Windows update to check for if this driver needs updating. But if it doesn't need updating, then you're fine. So uh, you don't need to do anything. So this, I'm just going to search online for uh, the driver updates for this particular driver. And um, what it does is it basically searches the Microsoft web. Uh -huh. And it says Windows successfully updated the driver software. So you can do this for any driver that you want. Do a search, update driver software, and this will work for mostly every driver as long as you got the driver installed on your computer. And as long as it needs updating. Now you may get this. Sometimes it may say this the best driver software for your device is already installed. Windows has determined the software for your driver is up to date. If you have that message, it means your driver is up to date, so there's no point of updating it. And uh, you get the point, you come in here, you right click and you go update driver software. And uh, if you see any triangle shaped ones, that means you're missing the driver. So you head over to your manufacturer's website to download the driver off them and run the executable file. That's how you uh, successfully go about updating and downloading drivers for your computer.